hello guys and welcome back so as you know that in the previous video we have added collisions and gravity now in this video we will be manually applying a falling speed and velocity to our player okay because we will be using that values in our parkour system okay so that's why we are manually doing it as well for now we have the gravity and everything works perfectly fine the player comes down to the ground whenever the player is in the air okay but we don't have any values in order to access it so that's why in this video we will be adding a falling speed and velocity to our player so in order to do that right here after this pool we will create a float by the name of falling speed okay let's make this a serialized field in order to access this in the inspector after that right here in the player movement we want to remove this cc dot move okay where we move our player using the input buttons okay the reason we are moving this outside this if condition is we want whenever this player movement is called we want the player to move down to the ground okay we don't need to press the buttons in order to call this uh, player movement function and try to move the player down okay or you can say we don't want to apply the falling speed whenever we press the buttons okay we want the falling speed to be constant automatically so we will move it outside and then in the update method okay right here we will add a if condition and we will say that if the player is on surface so if the player is on surface it means that the player is on surface but if the player is not on surface then we will apply falling speed and velocity so first of all let's apply velocity so right here we will create a variable by the name of velocity this will be equals to the movement direction and let's multiply that by the movement speed okay and then we will say velocity dot y and this will be equals to falling speed okay this falling speed float then right here we will say that if the player is on the ground then the falling speed will simply be zero okay because the player is already on the ground but if the player is not on the ground then we want to apply gravity in order to move the player down to the ground okay and that movement from the air to the ground will be called velocity because if you check the velocity definition as you can see velocity is the direction directional speed of an object in motion as an indication of its rate of change in position as observed from a particular frame okay so falling speed will be plus equals to physics dot gravity dot y and then we will multiply that by time dot delta time in order to make this time dependent okay and the reason we are doing this is because the update function is called multiple times in a second okay but we want to apply the falling speed every second okay so that's why we are making it time dependent okay so we have now the falling speed and the velocity and if you guys thinking where this physics dot gravity comes from the gravity is already defined in unity if i show you in the project settings then physics right here you can see the gravity value which is already defined as minus 9.81 okay and right here you can see this error which is the name movement direction does not exist in the current context right here in the layer movement method as you can see the movement direction is a private variable in it okay so that's why we can't access it right here in the update directly so let's access it in a different way right here create a serialized field okay and let's say 
vector 3 let's name this as move dir okay and then if we scroll down right here after this if condition or you can just do it after this cc dot move but let's do it right here so what we will say is movement direction equals to move dir or move direction okay and then we will copy this move direction and paste it right here so move direction multiply by movement speed okay as you can see simple as that now we have the falling speed the movement direction now if we play the game you will notice that a falling speed will be applied to our player and when the player touches the ground it will become zero so play the game as you can see the falling speed was applied and then it become zero okay let me show you guys again let's open up the game window and you will notice the falling speed is being applied and now as you can see the player is on the ground and the falling speed is zero since the player is already on the ground okay so now we have the falling speed as well but there is one issue you guys i think you guys didn't notice that issue but i did if we click on the scene let's focus up on the player okay i have run off the gizmo so that i can show you guys that the player feeds after adding the velocity and falling speed as you can see it is a little bit in the air okay it doesn't seem like right here on the game but on the scene we can see it so i think in order to fix this you can actually make the skin width to two for example let's walk the player okay now let's check it again as you can see it is now on the ground okay so you can just simply decrease the skin width and the player will just simply touching the ground i mean the player fits well touch the ground and if that doesn't work for you you can also decrease the height of the character controller and then you will be good to go, okay so now let's end this video right here